Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap for Friday, September 10th. A uh, nice way to end the week, plus 1,893 on the day. By the way, I forgot, to, or no, I didn't forget, I didn't have time to post and record my uh, day yesterday. So here's yesterday. Not so great, uh, but that's what happened. So uh, let me recap the week real quick and then we'll jump into today's trades for the week. Uh, had four mighty 90s. Uh, small red minus 202. Didn't do any pairs trades this week. And then on the runners plus 1,223, uh, giving us a total profit for the week of just over a thousand bucks. Puts us at a little over 47,000 year to date and total since the end of August last year, uh, almost 83K total. So uh, another green week. Good stuff. Um, Let's see here. Let's go. Let's go back to today and, and let's recap these trades. So, MNQ, uh, Nasdaq took a runner uh, minus two fifty eight. Peton plus six eighty five. Apple plus six twenty eight. Microsoft minus two seventy two. Roblox, my biggest winner, a little over a thousand dollars. Nvidia, small loss. Airbnb minus eighty five. And Zoom plus one thirty. So let's go over these and I'll show you what happened. Uh, let's start with the NASDAQ futures. All right, so NASDAQ um, was acting very strong to begin with. It was holding up and they just started kind of consolidating. The other three were getting weaker. I thought the NASDAQ was going to win out and the other three were going to kind of follow suit. So I jumped into a, an upside runner here looking for a continuation higher. When it broke down here, I just got out. Uh, which obviously ended up being a good thing because NASDAQ traded all the way down, bounced, and is trading lower as the market is coming to a close. We're about uh, 14 minutes before the end of the day at the time of this recording. So that was my NASDAQ runner. Uh, Piton plus 685. Let's go to Piton. Whoop. All right, so Piton had uh, had this big push initially when it pulled back to this pivot, got long for a continuation and caught that upside. I can't remember exactly where I got out. Um, yeah, anyway, I can't remember. Anyway, plus 685. I may have gotten back in again and caught it some more. I, can't, I actually can't remember. I usually do these recordings right after I get done. Once I've been trading a lot and doing a bunch of other stuff, sometimes I forget my exact exits and entries, but that's Piton. Uh, Apple was an, actually, I'm going to come back to Apple. Uh, let's go to Microsoft. We had some, we had some fun action late in the morning on, on, uh, Apple and, um, Roblox. So I'm going to do those last. Uh, so, uh, Microsoft, this one was a, a small loser it had this initial weakness. The market was staying weak. So when it started chopping around here, got short, came down, almost got filled on half. Came back up, came down, almost got filled on half again, didn't, and it bounced. And so when it started to bounce here, I just cut out. Uh, I, I was looking for a continuation lower, and it just did not happen. All of a sudden, just started getting some legs to it. Uh, so it took a loss there. NVIDIA. NVIDIA was basically a scratch, minus 34. And uh, what we did here was, what did we do here? Um, I think I actually don't remember. I'm going to skip that one too. Uh, again, I was, uh, been, got a lot going on today. Uh, Airbnb, let's go to Airbnb. So Airbnb was an upside runner. Uh, so when it, um, no, I'm, I'm sorry, Airbnb was a downside runner. So it had this consolidation broke down and when it bounced back up to unchanged i was looking for a follow through to the downside and this thing just chopped around chopped around chopped around uh, i added to it got out of some went back up and it almost came down i was i got out of some here uh, and then when it pushed back up i just got out and took a scratch there i was kind of done with it and then zoom 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 was an upside runner I had this big volume spike here uh, so when it pulled back here, got long, got out of some there, pulled back, got out of some there, uh, and just booked a small profit there in Zoom. All right, so that's uh, uh, those trades. Then my two uh, two biggest winners, Apple and, or two of my biggest winners, Apple and Roblox. What happened here was uh, we uh, I was getting ready to get off the live stream about 10 a.m., and then all of a sudden, this happened. 
boom, big spike in volume in Apple. And I, at this point, I didn't have any idea of what the news was on Apple. And that's why we don't trade news because the, by, by the time CNBC or anybody else, uh, you know, figured out what was going on about 30 minutes later, they 20, 30 minutes later, they started reporting the move had already happened. And, and what happened was, uh, the, the lawsuit against Apple and their app store, you know, they charge 30%. They, they basically get 30% of all the revenue that comes through the app store. Well, they've, they got sued by Epic games and, and I think some other folks, some, some other companies and, uh, looks like the lawsuit is going to go against Apple. So Apple started dropping, had that pop in volume, uh, just on this little bounce here, I got short and caught this all the way down. I got out of, I was scaling out of contracts all the way down. Now I did, when it bounced back up here, I did get in with, with some more and I switched over from the zero days to expiration options to the seven days. Cause I figured it would kind of chop around. Now it chopped all day long, kind of ate my theta for lunch on those. And then finally rolled over and I basically scratched that last piece, but booked a nice winner of 628. So, so that's Apple, the, the suit against them. Now, the benefactors of that suit are some of the apps that uh, don't, aren't going to have to pay such a hefty fee, one of which is Roblox. And so around the same time, uh, we got a big spike in volume on the way up in Roblox. And, uh, and so I, I think I got, it was bouncing around in here. I think I got in somewhere in this area here, caught a move up. It came down. I reloaded, bounced up again, came down, reloaded. Uh, I was just playing this with small size, but ended up being almost $1,100 winner. Uh, I did the same thing uh, up here. I ended up switching over to my uh, seven-day options, just kind of chewed that up. And then when it broke down here, I just got out of that last piece. So it gave a little bit back, uh, but still a nice winner in uh, in Roblox. So we yeah we were, we were getting ready to get off the live stream right here, and then the Apple thing hit, and then about 15 min minutes later, Roblox popped, and so we, we caught both of those nice winners to uh, to end the day. So uh, fun trading. Love when uh, get some action like that. That always makes it more fun, uh, plus 18.93 on the day in a, in a positive week. So hope everybody enjoyed that that was still in the room. Uh, we will be offline on Monday. So we will not be streaming on Monday, but we'll be streaming every other day, Tuesday through Friday next week. Look forward to seeing everybody in the room. Talk to you then.